What's up guys, Iggy here with Faltech Unlimited. I am going to be doing a uh, pretty interesting build uh, for you today. It's going to be a G-Code Thyrig. Uh, we haven't done this particular pistol yet. It's a, a CZ P10C and we're going to be rocking the brand new Balder Pro R. Uh, if you're not familiar, there is a Balder Pro which looks like this and if you notice it has the laser underneath the bezel. Now the brand new Balder Pro R has the laser built in this black dot that's the aperture where the laser comes out so you can see that there is a size difference where because this one has the laser on the bottom it is considerably wider but if you look at it and we get these side by side this one is about a half inch longer because everything is all contained inside and it has a switch on the bezel right here uh, so we're gonna be doing this I haven't made a holster for this yet we're gonna and uh, you'll be along for the ride so again the CZ P10C it's going to be a right hand paddle rig with the, I'm um, not paddles, well actually technically, the G-Code paddle which is called the Mule ISS system. It just got it in, uh, so it clips onto your belt quickly and then you got your RTA plate here. We're going to be doing uh, RTI 34 plate with a, I believe, um, let me see here, actually, a Speedlock Gen 2 uh, hood. Uh, so we're going to put all that together and you will see step by step how to do it now i've never done this flashlight before like i said it's brand new so we're just going to go ahead and uh jump right into it now with this being a sealed unit there is a possibility that the uh, lights can get activated while in the press we're going to do our best so that doesn't happen one way to do that is to just keep this on and let the battery die but it's literally brand new out of the box so it's going to be live um, so, but it's not going to bother me, but at 1350 lumens, this is going to get hot enough to melt the Kydex. So just be aware of that when it goes in your press, I'm going to be using the round widgets. So we'll see how well that works. And if you notice my camera is following me wherever I go. Cool thing about this is I just invested in some new equipment. Um, I'm going to be trying to use it from here on out. It's a little bit more to set up. But uh, I got new uh, light rings and I got more stuff, more tripods, more things like that. I'm going to try and make this a little bit more, I don't want to say professional, but at least better to watch. And I don't have to move everything around because it follows me. So uh, let's, just, let's just get right to the build and uh, let's have some fun with this. All right, so I went ahead and I grabbed the parts that we're going to be using. Again, this is going to be the RTI 34. There's a 30 plate, 34 plate, and we'll take this and put it aside. And then we're doing the Speedies, uh, or the Speed Lock by uh, Spetsgear. And that is this guy. This is the one where you push down and bam, it flings forward. So we're going to be doing that. Also, we're going to, uh, there's a note saying that there is um, suppressor height sights. So that's when I go ahead and just use a piece of uh, quarter inch dowel, which is um, HDPE. And we're going to throw that on there as well. Again, we're gonna try and be careful not to hit that button because we really don't want that turning on. If it does, it does, but I don't think it's gonna turn on with our particular setup. So we're gonna need our, let's see here, our blocking, and we're gonna go ahead and get this guy all said and done and out of my shop. So, all right, now let's go. Go ahead and tape on the widget. This is going to be going right here. And we'll square it up with that. And bam, before we put that on, we're going to go ahead and take this guy and get this on there. And then I'll take my razor and we'll go ahead and cut that right there. And then fold it over and do the same thing on this side. All right, back to this. Tape, hold that guy in like 
like so, and then go ahead and do the other side. If you leave tape on your blocking, there's a chance that it, you will see that through the kydex, and you really don't want to do that. So I'll try to take it off whenever I can. And this is going to cover up up here. And like I said, you're going to want to square that up as well. And you want to make sure that these two are on the same spot. Actually looks good all right and then this is uh, right-handed it's gonna be black I already have the uh, heat press on so just keep that in consideration is now in the heat press I have my gloves in there because it was a bit chilly all right before we do any of the blocking for this stuff we're gonna go ahead and set the sight channel which is that guy And there's a side channel. And next we're going to do the blocking for that and this. So we're going to go ahead and get our blocking for that. So there's one. Uh, da, 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 da. And two. We might do, uh, actually I'll do it with the, little, the slightly smaller one. And three. Right. What I like to do is line up this with the back of the firearm. So this is going to sit right around here. So that gives you a good, good set. You want to keep that in consideration. So I'll go ahead and mount this right here. And I will need a small piece of blocking, or a thin piece of blocking, I should say, on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that right there so I don't lose where it's going. And then square it up with the top of the slide. Okay, I still need to get something in there. So don't forget that. Let's see here, is this thick enough? Nope. All right, so what I'll do is I'll go cut a piece of wood that will fit right inside that. Unless I have a small piece. Nope, wood it is. Perfect. And that piece is going to make sure that that doesn't fall out. All right, next is going to be the plate. And that's going to go, put it down a little bit right about right there. That's good. So this is going to go right here, which means we will need another piece of blocking. So let's 
Let's see. Oh, that's a little bit too big, so let's try. It's all about finding the right combination. I'm gonna shave this down a little bit. Perfect. All right. So what we'll do is we'll just tape that in place because if that falls out as you're moving your your holster to where it needs to be, oh man, does that suck. other side so put this where it needs to be this rivet is the pivot point so directly across is where your blocking needs to go so it's gonna go roughly actually right on that like that crease right there so uh, I do have a couple pieces of blocking so we'll probably end up going with this one and we'll put that right there oh see how mess that's not even right let's see here get that down Hate when it moves on you. All right, so what we'll need to do is just pull that guy back down. I'll line those two back up again. is that here we go so i'm going to replace that now if you have that tenting in the tape it's going to cause that and you don't want tenting in the tape that's why i use the pencil to push it down flush and there we go that looks much much better uh, we're still going to need it right there so i think if i do that right there i think that'll be pretty good unless i want to do the other one so it'll bend over like so. It's gonna go right there. Yeah, right where the dot is. Yeah, we'll do that. I think that'll look better. The only thing that's left is, since I know this is a brand new light and I've never done it before, I need to go ahead and make a brand new retention plate, which you guys should know by now how to do that. It's literally tracing the firearm and cutting it out on a piece of MDF. So let me just make sure he's got nothing else on here. Suppressor right sights, Chico, newer Balder Pro with internal laser, and RMR cut, which we are doing. Uh, no threaded barrel, so that's good. So yep, I'm going to go ahead and make that. Next time you see this, it's going to be, uh, actually, I'll film putting it in the press. We have everything cut. My dogs are going crazy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, clean this off, and throw it right in to our press. Again, our foam has been on top for quite some time, so it's nice, nice and cool. Or nice and warm, I should say. And then I'm gonna take the foam and stick it back on here for now while I go ahead and uh, get this ready. Uh, this is going to be a thick guy so what I'm going to be doing is actually going to do a dual layer again. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead set it up for four pieces of foam. Push this guy and this guy. And that, what that's going to do is uh, give us that extra cushion we need because this is one thick boy. So, once this comes out, we'll go ahead, get it in the press. We've got another 90 seconds left and 
then these guys know, right, that we're going in for lunch. Right? Yeah, you guys love this. Hi. There you go. So, another minute left. Watch out, guys. Watch out. We're holding pressure. Go ahead and get that in to your press. Pretty good. See you in, uh, well, see you after lunch. All right, the CZ is out of the press. It actually looks pretty good, as you can see here. Uh, everything actually came out as I wanted it to, and uh, I think it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, cut it, drill it, sand it, do everything we need to do to turn this into the thigh rig, which again, this guy. So I think it'll be fun. Uh, it should go pretty well. All the retention on these flashlights is literally right here. And I think, uh, I think we're going to be all set. Again, first time doing this flashlight, but we'll see how it goes. First things first, let's get this guy out. Whatever sticks like it is right now, just cut right there and it'll open up no problem. Now we'll go ahead and get all of this off. So we don't need it. Don't need it now, Mo. Make sure you save all your little cuts of wood that you use so you can have that for your next build. And I'll tell you that's how I've gathered so much blocking is well, I never throw it out. I always save it. So a little tech tip for you. All right, and we know this is going here. Line this all up and then mark our trigger guard. And that is gonna go right to the end here. And then we're gonna be doing a uh, RMR cut. So the chamber is, let's see here, where does it start? You can see the blocking, there we go. Chamber starts here. So we're gonna come down. We'll have to slice it just a hair of that off, which is no big deal. And then come up like so. Our block is here, so we'll put retention right here and here you can do whatever you want I like to put one to the left of it and I like to put one to the right of it and I like going somewhat flush with the flashlights and then we'll just cut it up like that uh, do not drill this hole drill all the others though Went ahead and gathered all the hardware we're gonna need. I'm just gonna separate it. And again, uh, the hardware that comes with the components, I normally don't use, unless it's for the hood, but the only thing I use for the hood are the screws it comes with and then for the other end, that's it. So these, I throw in my bin. I use nothing from the RTI plate because we have to lift it off. So um, we're also going to make, which I haven't done yet, I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a gusset so everything 
stays nice and firm. All right, so we're gonna take some clear Kydex. Actually, it's Holstex. Put it over the holes you drilled. Mark the center of each hole. And then go ahead and drill it. As promised, there's that plate. And the reason for that is so you don't get this flex. We are going to go ahead, put in our, oh, actually, before I do that, you gotta clean the holes on the inside because those burrs will cause everything to stick up. And you don't want the heads of those Chicago screws or threaded nuts digging into the firearm. That is a new bueno. And before we assemble, go ahead and just do a quick wipe down. And I'm making sure to get inside and out. I have also already blown it out, but you want to get all the crevices on the inside. All right, these are half inch. And this is 0.4375, I believe it is. Oh. Yeah, jump the gun on that one right there. Yeah, put this on first. Go. Do the other one. And number three. <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously, it is much easier to install these before you do this. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead, take all of our screws here, and add our magic juice. And then install all three. You don't have to do all three, you can do them one at a time, but I personally like to do it this way. And then install the hood. And on this one, we're gonna use these guys that came with it. You don't want to go too tight. If you go too tight, it's not going to go forward. I'm actually going to back that off just a little bit. Just make sure it's got some Loctite on there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and add this guy. Well, all of them. And before we do anything else, there it is. We want to check clearance. Right, so we can actually tighten, we can tighten it down just a little bit more to even it up. And again, we're gonna check our clearance. It is right, right there. I think we're gonna back off just slightly. Let's see where we're at again. All right, I'm happy with that. 
take this off. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and do my retention. Tighten that up. It's actually not that bad. <clears throat> I'm gonna go just a hair tighter. Pretty easy light to work with, to be honest with you. Same thing as all the other other guys, but actually it feels that feels real good right there. So and with that in place. Go ahead, get this mark. I'll go ahead, clean the outside of that, and then clean the inside. Secure the hood, which already has Loctite on it. And then square that up because when you bend it, it just bends in one spot and I just think it looks tacky. So I square that up. And there it is. And that looks like ample space to clear an RMR. So there it is right there. Awesome. I think that looks absolutely pisser. Here's actually a, a, a trick or, or a tech tip. When you're doing light bearing, make sure the kydex actually extends past the light. It doesn't have to be a lot, but as long as it extends past it, you won't have a situation where where it'll something will hit it and then push it out of a, out of battery. So something will hit the flashlight and then push the gun out. You don't want that. So, yeah, really liking the way this this uh, this holster came out. Again, that's smooth. Feels good. And it's in there pretty sweet. So, again, hell yeah. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a couple tricks or two on a uh, light bearing RTI. I know I've done a couple before, but never with the CZ. And again, never with the brand new Balder Pro R. Uh, again, thanks everybody. And have fun.